everybody, my name is Eric Bland. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, I really appreciate it. So today we're gonna to be talking about peanut free, living the peanut, peanut free life, okay? So what does it mean to be peanut free and why are you peanut free, right? So there are specific reasons why somebody would be peanut free. I have an allergy, didn't find out till I was 18 years old and went to my father's, I had a peanut butter cookie, he's like, Son, you want a peanut butter cookie? I'm like, yeah. I remember eating peanut butter by that just gallon full. It was just ah, peanut butter all the time, right? S sneak in there, grab a peanut uh, butter or a spoon with a peanut butter on it, and then put it in a sink act like it never happened, right? <laughs> so I got to my dad's, ate a peanut butter cookie. My neck was like from like this to like just down. I had no neck at all. Had allergic reaction to it, and I haven't had a peanut butter anything since I found out that I had peanut allergies. So um, a couple things to keep in mind. Don't be embarrassed if you guys have a peanut free, if you're peanut free, if you just found out that you have an allergic reaction to it, don't be embarrassed. Uh, it's okay to say something too. Like if you're in a, let's say a ball game, if you're sitting at a, I have season tickets at a ball field. And if somebody has um, peanuts, I say, you know, ma'am, sir, you know, could, would you mind if I bought you something else? because I have a peanut allergy and I'd rather not have it. And most of the time they'll say, no, we'll pick something else out. I'm like, okay, thank you so much. But there are times that, you know, if you buy it for them, they're able to be like more like, hey, cool, dude. You know, most of the time they won't take it. One gentleman, uh, he was an older gentleman, said, no, I'm eating peanuts. And I said, no problem. My family and I will get up and we'll move elsewhere. Um, I just have a peanut allergy and I can't be around it. Most people are, are okay with it. They're, they're fine. He was a little bit more stubborn. Once upon a time, I wasn't so vocal about it. I would be more quiet, but then I remember when I was in the dating scene, um, I dated this young lady. We walked up to her grandma's house for Thanksgiving and she was making peanut butter cookies for everybody. And she thought she was doing a good thing. As I was getting closer to the front door, I knew she was having peanut butter because I was kind of doing those <clears throat> etching throat type deal. And then I'm like, hey, listen, I can't walk in there. I'm gonna have a reaction and I don't feel like dying on Thanksgiving, so I appreciate it. And you know, we didn't break up because of that though. <laughs> but but, uh, but peanut allergy is a serious thing and a lot of people don't take it serious. So one of the things that makes me so angry and pisses me off is if I go somewhere and I say, okay, uh, we start the conversation off. Like, so if I was at, like for instance, at Dairy Queen, I'll say, okay, I would like a blizzard, but before we start, this is a peanut free, you know, making sure that that's separated there, um, blizzard, and can I have strawberries in it? And they say, okay, so it's an allergy. Yes, okay, perfect. And then I will repeat back to them, this is an allergy, and they might get sick of that, but it's cautious for me to understand and let them understand that it's importancy because there's many times that I've I've walked in, I love ice cream. I probably have it three times out of the week. It's probably gonna be the death of me, but but um, they will say to me, hey, listen, um, okay, I have it. And they start mixing it. I said, I can't have that one. I have to have it peanut free and, and it's a peanut allergy. Can you please make it over here instead? And she's like, oh, I didn't know. Okay, no problem. I will educate them so then that way I don't die, if that makes sense. So you have to be a, you know aware of your surroundings. Like I said, if it's a ball field, if it's um, a, if you have an airborne, which obviously mine is partial airborne, which is kind of crazy thinking of it as a kid because we used to eat this stuff all the time. Um, but when we were, where were we? We were going to Disney. And as we were heading down to Disney, um, a guy next to me uh, was going to get peanuts. I said, would you mind picking something else out? I'm, I have a peanut allergy. He's like, oh, no problem, dude. No, no problem at all. Like, okay, I'm like, I'll pay for it. You know, they're free anyways. But um, I guess you can upcharge for the for more or something. But he was okay with it. He was all right. So my thing is don't be discouraged. You know, I obviously, I am gluten intolerant as well. So I eat um, very healthy um, as well, other than the ice cream, right? Um, but uh, you just have to look on the back of the packaging of everything. If you're new to that product, or for me, if a box looks new, so if they change the look of the box, I'll just take a peek at it and make sure all the directions, you know, ingredients in there say exactly what it said before. 
If you're like me, I don't really try new things very often. I just keep with what works best for me. So I'll keep eating the same things over and over and over again um, throughout. Not that I won't ever change, but if I'm like, um, let's say if I'm, there's a camp up north, uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. I know that there's a specific ice cream there, especially if they do it in allergy free form, that I'll be okay. I won't try anything else out because I know that one has been fine for me all these years. Uh, I don't want to die out there. If you have an EpiPen, carry your EpiPen always with you and making sure that's okay. Um, you know, you can always read the directions on how to use an EpiPen. Um, but this is more for you get kids and also for the grown-ups out there that maybe your kid found out they had peanut allergy and you don't even know what you guys are supposed to do. Uh, my kids know that, you know, they're like, oh, you can't have that, Dad. And I'm like, nope, can't have that. Or they'll be respectful, like, oh, I don't want, like the Mrs. son, though, he always loves Reese's. And so um, she'll, once upon a time when we first started dating, she said, you, know, you can have him in the car. Well, I got in the car and I'm like, I can't breathe in here. You guys must have had Reese's. She's like, no, no. And she's like, okay, yeah, we did. Or something peanut buttery. Um, so I just have to watch that. I took the father-in-law's car one time. Um, as soon as I got in it, I started not to be able to breathe. My throat started closing up. I thought it was maybe allergies. Um, I don't like the anxiety kick in. So if I'm like, <clears throat> Ow, some peanut over here, you know, but I'm cautious. Um, and I took his vehicle and lo and behold, under his um, glove compartment here, he had peanuts in there opened up. So, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, great. Um, and it's just because that's what he likes to eat and I've never taken his car before. So uh, he said, take that one up since it was in the, out in the road. So I didn't have to back everyone out just so I can get to my car. Uh, what else can I talk about peanut free? Um, so I like to make sure that, you know, no matter if you're, I don't know, always wash your hands. This is always a good thing anyways to not get sick. But if you're pushing something, a cart or things like that, I like to sanitize my hands a lot. To make sure if, if I'm opening a door, because um, that could get on you, back to me. Um, I have employees, uh, my guys. Uh, when we go in, I buy them stuff from the general store. They come out, and if they have anything peanut uh, related, obviously I wouldn't buy it for them. I always look at it because I always buy everything. And that's one of the reasons I buy it. I'm not just being nice, just to just to be like, okay, yes, that can you can have that. You cannot have that granola bar. You can have this granola bar. You can have that one, but you can't have this one. Um, I know what bugs me now at 34 years old, but when I was 18, I was still learning what was okay to eat. I can have a Kit Kat, um, but for some reason now I can't have um, what are they called? Um, Reese, um, not Reese. Obviously, can't have Reese's. They are called um, Rice Krispie Treats. For some reason, I can't have them anymore. It, they like changed their package, and I don't know if they changed their ingredient in there or what, but I cannot have it. Um, you gotta be careful going into Texas Roadhouse. That has been like a huge bummer to me because I can remember eating there when I was younger um, and being okay, not a problem. Uh, now I don't go in there, and a lot of times family loves to go there. Um, her side of the family loves to go there, so I'll just not invite myself, meaning they've already invited me, but I'll make it up excuse of why I can't go or something. And now she's caught on like, okay, we can't come. And they're like, oh, we'll pick a different place. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know, cause I want to be invited, but I also don't want to be die dying that night. So to me to crack up in some peanuts, throw them on the ground, is not that important, um, but it's a good place to eat. It's a good place to eat. Um, so I'm not gonna diss that at all. Um, five guys can't go in there. Um, you got to be careful on what your um, food is getting um, doused in, uh, grilled in, if you will, if they're using peanut oil. A lot of places use peanut oil. Canola oil is a lot of times what they use. Um, there's a place right down by me. It's a great burger place. I keep hearing about it. I went in there and I'm like, <clears throat> my throat's starting to close up like a little bit. And I'm like, man, this they don't serve anything peanut buttery and they're like oh my gosh no they have a deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich and i'm like oh, i gotta go i'm like thank you for everything put my motorcycle helmet back on and cruised out and i was all set to go but um you know 
I can kind of, you can, if you've been around it for a long time, you can start to feel it in your throat. If you have kids, it's a little difficult because you won't tell until it's too late, um, whether it's hives on them. Um, I did have hives from obviously my neck, well, it's back my ears and down all over my chest, all up my back here and down my arms. Um, I can remember that. Um, if I get into something, uh, let's say we go to a mall around Christmas time, they have those like peanut things, those almond things going. Almonds don't do it for me, just peanuts do, but I just cut out every nut, if you will. I don't have any of it. I don't, I don't want them near me, by me, around me. Um, what else was I going to say? That's pretty much it. I mean, I just wanted to make a quick little video. It's ended up being 10 minutes, but if you guys watch this, thank you guys so much for watching this. But be serious because this is a serious thing you know um i know um you know i've heard stories of all these people making fun of people about but guys it's like putting a bag over your head and not be able to breathe so it's like real serious there's nothing to joke about um or you know say funny things because you wouldn't want to feel like you're drowning because that's what it feels like when you can't breathe it feels like you're drowning um growing up i had asthma as a kid and not be able to breathe was it was really difficult playing sports so um, if you've ever not had your breath it's very scary and it's a very serious thing so if you're a student and you're out there you know at school it's okay to tell people hey I have a peanut allergy don't be afraid to tell people because it's important that they know it rather than not know it and um, so there's nothing to be embarrassed about trust me your life is way more important than what people think of you um, and as you get older <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways you can be more vocal about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember, these are what my allergies are, not yours. So yours may be higher or lower than mine are, but this is what specifically works for me. Maybe it not always specifically works best for you guys. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, if your kids have it, you know, be very cautious about it because it's very important. If you have it, your kids might end up having it as well. Um, so it might be passed down. I love you guys. Until next time. See us.